Hey everyone, uh, happy Halloween. Hope everyone had a good week. Um, so if you've been watching my streams, you'll know that I've been using VS Code with the GitHub Copilot extension. Um, and recently I moved to Cursor. And when I moved to Cursor, um, I went to go check out the pricing. And I also went to go read some forums um, of some different uh, people talking about the pricing information that Cursor provides. And what I came to find is that there was some confusion. And so I just wanted to give uh, a quick video on my thoughts of the Cursor pricing. So you have Hobby. Um, and my understanding with this is they give you a limited uh, agent request um, and limited tab completions, right? And once you hit that uh, usage limit, I believe that you can use a Claude API key or an OpenAI API key. Um, then you have Pro. So Pro is uh, $20 a month. Uh, so that's $20 of usage across all the models. The models have different uh, pricing. And when you're using Cursor, they have a dashboard that will show you the cost of each, each request, how many tokens were used, et cetera. And so this is uh, $20 a month. If you get the annual plan, it is $16 a month. Uh, so that's $20 of usage. Any usage beyond that is metered usage, and it's billed at the same rate as the $20 uh, of usage. Then they have the Pro Plus plan. So the Pro Plus plan is three times the amount of usage as the Pro plan, and it's about three times uh, the cost, right? But you get $70 of usage. Uh, so I, I uh, saw some confusion online about this because uh, some people think, hey, the Pro is the exact same. Pro Plus is the exact same cost as Pro, um, but not exactly. They give you three times the usage, so they say $60 uh, for the Pro Plus plan, and you get $70 of usage. So that's $10 of uh, extra, I guess, free usage, right? And then they say bonus usage, which they don't describe exactly what that means for Pro and Pro Plus. So you get your usage balance for the 20 or the 60, and then they give you some sort of bonus they mention. And then you have the Ultra plan, um, which is 20x the amount of usage. Um, across all the models. Now, any of these plans, I believe, once you hit the limit, and that's one really cool thing about Cursor is once you hit the limit, um, they do not um, stop you from using the tool. So you can bring your own API keys uh, from OpenAI or Anthropic. So, <clears throat> so here's the dashboard. And this will actually, this is what I was talking about. This will show you the cost of each request here. Uh, so just wanted to briefly show you that. If you do use features like the browser, so if you're browsing web pages, uh, uh, certain tool calls use more tokens. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, and and what's nice is that, you know, with the pro plan, it's $20 a month. And once you hit that usage limit, um, you can... Uh, start the metered usage billing. So when I come to uh, the dashboard here, you can see enable on-demand usage. So that's a way where you can see, hey, am I even getting up to this uh, $60 level, right? Because um, you might not even be making it to the $60 level. And this is for people that are trying to understand which plan uh, to get, right? Um also, just wanted to talk so recently, and I have another video on this that you uh, anyone can go check out, but um, Cursor just recently released Cursor 2.0, and that includes their house uh, coding model, Composer. Um, and here you can see how they're showing, and this is the Cursor bench score. So I saw, I heard someone mention that this was kind of interesting. You know, I don't know how much information is available on this specific bench score. So usually LLMs, I guess are graded against these standard benchmarks. Um, but this is Cursor's benchmark. Uh, but according to Cursor's benchmark, they're saying that their model is essentially just as intelligent as the best frontier models um, and significantly faster, right? So definitely um, something to think about. And here you can see that Pro Plus includes $70 of API agent usage uh, plus additional bonus usage. So there's that bonus usage. It's not clear exactly what that means, 
but they do say they're doing the best to try to provide as much bonus usage as they can across all plans. Um, and then here you can see uh, the cost of some of these models. Um, so here's Composer 1. Um, and Composer 1 is right in line with the Frontier uh, models from OpenAI. Um, yep, so that's uh, my video on uh, cursor pricing.